Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Wrestling. Joshua Hoskin coming at you once again, this time with Supergirl Statement. And I know it's been a while since I've done this, but uh, hopefully uh, you all will forgive. This is a special uh, Friday evening edition for, for those who are watching it now. Uh, for those who are watching on, early on Twitch, uh, thank you so much for coming by. I kind of feel like I'm obligated to do so, like to do that. So, uh, so anyway, uh, on Facebook and Skype, I made the announcement that, uh, and maybe I'll do the same for Twitter. Uh, I decided that for the next supercard that I'm going to do. I decided that there will be three matches from the women's division. One of them being a women's tag team championship triangle table madness match. Three tag teams will compete where the last team standing after putting their opposing teams through the tables will be declared the champions. Two of our tag team matches will be qualifiers. And then... As we will have a women's championship match, we will also have a women's contender match, which will be four women competing in a double Jeopardy match. We'll also have for that as well. And and I will say And I will say, um, oh yeah, our will have tag. Molly Shamrock take, teaming up with the tag team champions, Valerie and Katrina Havoc, to take on the, the team of Cassie Madam Red, Akira Suzuki, and Jade Barrett. So here, here are the Triangle Table Madness qualifiers for the first part. Oops, sorry. If you hear static, I apologize. The Deadly Divas, Cougar Knight and Goddess of Pain taking on Jennifer Clark and George. In our Double Jeopardy qualifier. And then we have a rematch from previous times. Sarah Lee Johnson taking on Sunshine Marigold. Our second Triangle Table Madness qualifier. The Fallen Angels, Angelina Nightwalker and Mrs. Utaker. Take on old rivals, Wrestling Mama and the Mighty Minerva, as they take on the Mighty Amazons. Our last two Double Jeopardy qualifiers, Jen Richards, goes up against Whisper. And our final qualifier, Maeve O'Hare, goes one-on-one -on -one with Juniper Nightblood. Oh, Royal. Royal, to mean anything, please let me know. As mentioned, our main event of the evening... Without further ado, let's get started before something happens. The crowd is on fire here tonight. Coming to uh, Moline, Mal Moline, Illinois. Be correct me on that one. I want to know how it's pronounced. Er, uh, started here. First match of the evening, a qualifier for the Triangle Table Madness match.
We have palatial bets. All right, starting to load now. I'm just hoping it doesn't freeze. Because that's happened before. And it... All right, here we go. Tag team match for one fall with 30 minute time. Richard is in first. Combined weight of 327 pounds. The team of height of pain the diva oh we're skipping i apologize for the uh skipping unfortunately it cannot be helped And coming down to the ring next, at a total combined weight of 242 pounds, the team of Jennifer Clark and Jordan Sking. Multi-time women's tag team champions. So far, their goal has been regaining those titles. A win here will get them right to where they want to be. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Jennifer saw that one coming. Now, Jordan in off the tag. Ooh. We got, ooh, Enziguri. And now, Cougar makes a tag, the goddess. And, ooh, there's a kick to the leg. Now, Jordan bringing her down. And it's right to, right to the chest, or as Blaze McCoy would say, the chest. And it's over the... Well, not quite. Oh, catches her with a bulldog. Tag made the Jordan.
Oh. Nice bulldog by Jordan. And now bringing her down there. Makes a tag to Jennifer. But Goddess makes a, makes a hot tag to Cougar. Nice DDT. Now over the top to the outside by Jordan. Meantime, Goddess is taking a rest outside. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, these women here have 20 seconds to get back inside the ring. It looks like they've done that. Oh, got caught. Hurricane Rana. for a submission here with a chin lock. But Cougar pushes her away. Oh, she got caught again, this time into the Boston Crab. And, and again, Cougar showing her power and immediately makes the tag to God a smart move there. Goddess of Pain coming off the top with a, with a splash. Gets a two. Oh, look at this. Bit of a pump handle suplex. And now here comes the Cougar off the tag. But anyway, yeah, I do apologize for the uh, buffering and skipping. I'm actually a little bit far away from the modem. Oh, wow! Cover by Jennifer and a kick out at two.
Oh, kick right to the top of the head. I apologize if you didn't see it. And here comes Jenna Jordan. Sorry, slowly but surely approaching the 10 minute mark. Oh, look at the strength and power of the goddess of pain. Now the cougar in, but she gets caught. Uh-oh, here we go. Top rope, springboard bulldog. Into the cover. And cougar kicks out, down goes goddess. Jordan goes face first off the top turnbuckle. Cougar with the Meteora. Well, it's all oh. bit of an F10, and Cougar going up to the top. Corkscrew Phoenix Splash. Oh, so close. Deadly Divas after the Booty Buster. Pick up the win. My goodness. What a matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winners of the match via pinfall at 9 minutes, 29 seconds. The Deadly Divas. So the Deadly Divas are the first team to qualify for the Table Madness match and will join the Tag Team Champions. The final spot will be determined later on, but now we will see who will be involved in the women's double Jeopardy match to determine the next number one contender. We have Cameron Jackie going up against Shulky. Who do you have? Place your bets.
Oh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, didn't realize. Uh, this, didn't realize I was being distracted there. My apologies. <laughs> Following contest is scheduled for one fall with a with a 20 minute time limit. It's in first from Miami, Florida, standing five foot, weighing in at 128 pounds. Cameron Jackie. Big opportunity for Cameron Jackie here tonight. This woman also has a huge opportunity. Her opponent from out of this world, standing six foot seven, weighing in at even two hundred pounds. Shulky. A dangerous and destructive woman. Very powerful. Well. There we go. Once again, this is a 20 minute time. I and mean, look at the power display on Shulky here. Nicely done. Oh, look out. Cameron Jackie on the move. Kick to the back. With the arm now. Oh, look at that beautiful arm drag. Shulky's a bit stunned here. And now Cameron with the bulldog. Tell you what, Cameron's actually doing a pretty good job keeping the keeping the giant down. There's a cover. No. Jackie now going up to going up top. Shooting star, no. Shulky moved out of the way. And look out. Ooh. Cameron once again going up to the top. This time with a straight splash. Did not get the three count. Oh, 
Off the ropes. Pele kick. And once again, going up to the top, shooting star once again missed. And now Shulky looking to take advantage. Perhaps going for the Gamma Bomb. Wait. TJ with a reversal. And no. Oh, she got caught. Pump handle suplex. There's a kick to the midsection. And here we go. The Gamma Bomb. Will this do it? No, Cameron kicks out. And Shulky can't believe it. We got a fight forever chant from the, this capacity crowd. Oh. And elbow drop by Shulky. Cameron Jackie fighting back here in Zaguri. Oh, missed the Pele kick that time. Next attempt, Jackie with a knee. Shulky is down, but for how long? Chin lock applied. Now, Shulky back on her feet. Oh, stomping on the hand. With her forearm drift across her foot. As we see here, that's not supposed to bend that way. Oh, look at this now. Shulky going up to the top. Oh, caught her on the back with the elbow. No. Five minutes have gone by in this matchup. Oh, countering the Gamma Bomb once again. Shoulders are down. No. Oh, didn't miss that time. Oh. And Cameron returning the favor, going right for the arm. And this time she connects with the shooting star press. No. Another shooting star. Will this do it? Yes, it will. Holy smokes. What a match that was as we take a look at some of the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a winner of the match via pinfall. And it's in 48 seconds. Cameron Jackie. So Cameron Jackie will be one of the four women in the double Jeopardy match. The winner of the next match will join her. It will be Sunshine Marigold taking on Sarah Lee Johnson. Who do you have? Place your bets. Who will join Cameron Jackie in the double Jeopardy match?
All right, and here we go. Following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Injured is in first from Port Royal, South Carolina. Standing 5 foot 6, weighing in at 126 pounds, Sarah Lee Johnson. Last time these two met, Sarah Lee Johnson was victorious. Well, Sunshine is looking to get a little bit of revenge here tonight and claim the spot in the double jeopardy. Her opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, standing five foot six, weighing in at 124 pounds, Sunshine Marigold. The daughter of the lunatic hick from the sticks, Blaze McCoy. She was one of the fun, one of the six that competed in the pyramid prison match to determine the women's champion. Fortunately, she was unsuccessful, but she still has hopes to finally win the title. But in order to do that. She has Sarah Lee Johnson, then go through three others in the double jeopardy match. Elbow drop by Sunshine. Look at this. Package, small package uh, suplex driver, I think it's called. Uh oh. Oh, looks like she went for that that Cobra clutch, but Sunshine was ready for it that time. Oh, nice clothesline. Oh, bit of back and forth here. Oh, look at this. Reverse DDT by Sunshine. Oh, here we go. Hook, line, and sinker. Shoulders are down. Ed Dahl oh, tried to go for the quick win. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautifully done there by Sunshine. Now Sunshine building momentum here. But not if Sarah has anything to say about it. Belly to belly suplex. Ooh, there's a kick to the face. Ooh. Stomping on the hand. Oh, here we go again. This time she keeps it on. And for the small package, and no. Oh, 
now she's going for it. She's going to lock it in. There it is, the Cobra Clutch. Sunshine trying to hold on. And she does. Elbows to the face. Escaping. Snap suplex. Fisherman suplex with the bridge. And no. Went for the springboard elbow, but to no avail. Float over DDT. Oh boy. Stomping on the arm. Some more damage to properly set up once again for the Cobra Clutch. Oh, swinging kick. And a shining wizard to follow. And it's over. And it looks like we're, we are at the joke, everybody. As we take a look at some of the highlights, there's the finishing move. The winner of the match via pinfall at 4 minutes and 20 seconds. 420, Sarah Lee Johnson. Sarah once again victorious here and will join the double jeopardy match. But now we will see who will be the final team to join the Deadly Divas and Valerie and Katrina Havoc. Excuse me. Will it be the Fallen Angels or will it be the Mighty Amazons? Who do you have? Place your bets. Hopefully it's looting. All right, we're getting there.
Following contact, team match set for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. Introducing first at a total combined weight of 291 pounds, Angelita Nightwalker and Mrs. Utaker. They are the Fallen Angels. Both women have held the Women's Championship as well as the Tag Team Championship. Angelita, of course, a former Miss Cash in the case as well. This is a chance to get back to the top. But in order to do that, they have to go through a familiar, familiar foe of teams. A team of two foes, sorry. And here they come. Introducing their opponents at a total combined weight of 356 pounds. The team of Minerva, Miss Cash in the Case, and Wrestling Mama, the Mighty Amazons. This is one intimidating duo. The physique of their own is certainly a sight to behold. And here we go. Who will be the final tag team in the Triangle Table Madness match for the Women's Tag Team Championship? Sorry, that's my phone. Wrestling Mama just choking her out there. Getting a rope break out of that pin attempt. Misses you. Looking to fight back here. Meteora by the multi time champion. An attack made to Angelita. Wrestling Mama. Looking to. Stop the momentum here. Face first off the top turnbuckle. Ooh. 
Meets an elbow to the face. Neck breaker by the Amazon. Knee drop missed. Look out. Oh. And a tag made now to Minerva. Oh, look at the strike. Oh, down goes Angelita. Minerva up to the top. Double axe handle. This rolls through. Pele kick. And a tag made back to Mrs. Yu. Oh, summer cut. Excuse me. Off the top. And a tag may back to her daughter, Lita. Northern Light suplex into the bridge. Oh, not even a one count. This, oh! Himalaya's arrow, ar 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 I think. Oh, look, trying to get her legs, but to no avail. Oh, back elbow. Got wretch suplex. Nerva goes to the outside. Now immediately goes back in. Lita now working on the arm. Look at that. Look at that technique. If you did it, I'm sorry. Too much buffering going on. Ooh, there's a kick to the knee. Oh. Minerva just destroying her now makes a tag to Wrestling Mama. Oh, look at that. Beautiful roll into a DDT. As five minutes have expired, we got a two count. And. Oh. Oh, using the top rope to her advantage. Both women are now on the outside here. Well, not for long as Wrestling Mama throws her back in. Makes the tag to Angelita. And over the top to the outside. Off the top of the star.
Sorry, I've just been typing. Electric chair drop. made to Mrs. U as we are at the 10 minute mark of the match. Well, not quite, but we're getting there. Oh. And out goes Wrestling Mama once again. What a suplex that was. Back and forth we go. But Mama sent it to, sent it to the bed. It looks like she's now in trouble. Figure four leg lock. This is you take her get back into the ring. And slides back out. Mama back in. Tag is made to Minerva. Oh. Sh shot to Wrestling Mama. Oh, uppercut to the back of the head. Ten minutes have now expired. Let's, oh, that uppercut once again. Oh, my goodness. And. and Catches her with a kick. Double knees to the back. Misses you. Looking for that submission. There it is. Wrestling Mama taps out. Wrestling Mama had no other choice but to tap out. My goodness. As we take a look at some of the highlights 
in this incredible tag team up. Your winners of the match via submission at 11 minutes and 48 seconds. The Fallen Angels. So it will be the Deadly Divas versus the Fallen Angels versus the Tag Team Champions Valerie and Katrina Havoc in the Triangle Table Madness match for the Women's Tag Team titles. But now it is time to see who will join the Double Jeopardy match next. Cameron Jackie and Sarah Lee Johnson have earned their spots. Excuse me. The winners of the next two matches will also join them. We got Jen Richards versus Whisper Bagwell. Who do you have? Place your bets. You hear the crowd respond as she crawls her way to the ring. this audience the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit introducing first from Nashville Tennessee standing five foot six weighing in at 129 pounds the demon dragoness Jen Richards. Very unique in her own way. Oops. And it would seem my batteries are running a bit low here. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back and I managed to get to get a charger. Coming down to the ring next, her opponent from Austin, Texas. Standing five foot nine, weighing in at 161 pounds. Whisper Bagwell. And here we go. Got a cover and Jen kicks out. Got a cover, and Jen kicks out after a knee strike. Oh, almost got the win after multiple Death Valley members. Rolls her over, brings her down. Oh, wrenching on the arms. Oh. Big discus punch, and Whisper goes up to the top. Oh. 
Oh, Whisper brings her up. Running power slam. Oh, Richards with us. The spinning kick. Oh, uh, Jen thought twice. Over the top to the outside. Both women now back inside. Well, rolls through. Straight side kick. Oh, but the, the foot too close to the bottom rope. Knee strike again. And oh, kick out at two. Just continuing the punishment. Not sure if that would work considering Jen doesn't have long hair. Off the top of the splash. And, oh, knee strike again. Too close to the ropes. Belly to belly throw. Going for that dragon splash, but Whisper got the knees up. Goes for the cover once again. And that's it. As it worked. Uh, Whisper, if you would like me to change that, please let me know what type of move you want. 
just in case. But nonetheless, your winner of the match via pinfall at 8 minutes and 33 seconds. Whisper. Bag. Now to determine the final spot in the Double Jeopardy match, Maeve O'Hare will go one-on-one -on -one with Juniper Nightblood. Who do you have? Place your bet. All right, here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Dublin, Ireland, setting five foot 10, weighing in at 142 pounds, the I Firestorm. Maeve O'Hare. The longest reigning Scottish Claymore champion in the wrestler unstoppable version of Commonwealth Wrestling. Over 640 days as of right now. About 6.49 as of today, if I'm not mistaken, I will double check. Introducing next from Staten Island, New York, standing five foot six, weighing in at 140 pounds. The Witch, Juniper, Nightblood. Don't worry about the cave, she'll get it fixed. Hmm. 
And the bell is rung, and here we go. The final spot of the Double Jeopardy match will be determined here. Uh, sorry for the lack of commentary. I was just uh, just doing something. <laughs> Irish destroyer by Maeve into the cover. And no.
Gonna burn now off the ropes with a leg drop. Off the ropes with another one, but Maeve saw that one come. Catches her with a close. <clears throat> Five minutes. Well, we're actually we're approaching six minutes. To this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is the eight women battle royal. Once again, if you want the eight women battle royal to mean something, please let me know. Factor by Juniper. Maeve quickly back up. Brings her up. Maeve escapes. A few shots to the head. Takes her down with another clothesline. Juniper throwing some trash to Maeve. I mean, some chips, by the way. Missed the knee drop that time. Going for the Irish Destroyer again. There it is. Victorious.
The winner of the match via pinfall at 10 minutes and 21 seconds, Maeve O'Hare. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our eight women battle royal, and hopefully it doesn't crash from here. Of course, your, your process of elimination is over the top rope, and both feet must hit the floor. It's getting there. It's loading. about halfway through. There we go. is an eight women over the top rope battle royal. So the participants bump standing six foot seven weighing in at 212 pounds Jessica Vesuvius. Right, Former women's champion in her own right. No doubt she wants that title again. Oh, man. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, 
Lots of unpopular people here, apparently. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, standing five foot six, weighing in at 122 pounds, Angelica Lee. Former women's tag champion in her own right. Has yet to win a singles title. But perhaps with a win here, it could boost her up in the rankings. From two, from Juarez, Tijuana, Mexico, setting five foot five, weighing in at 119 pounds, El Angel Rojo. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, setting five foot eight, weighing in at 115 pounds. Oh, Gail. The Red Angel hyping up the crowd a little bit. Looks like the crowd's gonna get even more hyped. Crystal Gale have had has had her issues with Angelica Lee as of late, former tag team partners. It seems that whenever we put on a show, it seems Angelica and Crystal, they just cannot be separated. And making her way to the ring, weighing in at 119 pounds, five foot five, El Angel de Oro. Enjoy some tag team success in her own way, as well as some single success. From Tokyo, Japan, standing five foot four, weighing in at 115 pounds, the Marauder Mako Takino. A high flyer in her own right. Coming up next, a vicious woman indeed. Making her way to wait. Making her way to the ring from West Haven, Utah, standing five foot six, weighing in at 123 pounds. Vanity.
Oh. Oh. This. She's back. From Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, five foot three, weighing in a hundred and four pounds. Again. Showing off a new look here. A very interesting take on her on her hairstyle and ring attire. And here we go. And whoops, I forgot the stopwatch. That's okay. That's fine. So here we go, eight women, the top rope battle royal. Oh, yikes. out. Jessica in trouble here. But Megan, the returning Megan, allowing her to get back into the ring. Oh. Angelica over the top. Crystal once again gets the best of her former tag team partner. And Angelica Lee the first eliminated from the match. That first elimination, we're down to seven. Let's not forget we still have our main event of the evening. Up. Oh, saves herself from the hands of Vesuvius. Oh, look at this. The Red Angel with Vanity. Vanity's gone. Vanity eliminated. We're down to six. Angel with a with a bit of a shining wizard. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Pop up Hurricane Rana. In the meantime, oh, the Red Angel gets on top of Crystal there. Golden Angel takes care of Jessica Vesuvius, but no doubt she won't be happy about that. We are down to five in this battle royal. Wait a minute. Oh, Crystal and Mako bumping into each other. Oh, double impact. Oh, look at that. Megan saving herself from elimination. And sunset flip by the Golden Angel. Come to think of it, I don't think the... the uh, I don't think the El Angels have gone at each other once. I know it's every woman for themselves. Oh, look at this. Double team on Megan there. Oh, off the top. Corkscrew Moonsault. Oh, what a kick to the face. done there. Oh, the Red Angel got dropped on her head. Oh, look out. The Red Angel saving herself there. Oof. 
Oh, look at this. Hurricane Rana to Crystal Gale there. And now Mako the Marauder takes care of the Golden Angel. And we are down to the four. Double stomp missed. They go right. And the Golden Angel goes back. Oh, wait a minute. Suvius taking out the Gold Angel. I'm not sure if the Red Angel notices yet. But the Golden Angel, oh. She just got choke slammed right onto the ramp. And now, and now officials backing off Jessica Vesuvius finally, but perhaps the damage has obviously been done. This is the final four here. In this over the top rope battle rope. Oh. Crystal coming in to break things up. She pays for it. This kicks to the leg. And oh, down goes the red. Oh, super kick. And Mako goes over the top, but she holds on. Literally keeping herself there. And Crystal over the top. And... Oh, she may not last. And there she goes, criminated. We are down to three. Oof. goes up to the top. Oh, looks like she has second thoughts. Oh. Mako's in trouble here. And over the top to the outside, she's done. Oh, look at this. A choke STO. Uh, a bit of a dragon sleeper here by Megan. And the Red Angel taps out, but remember, you gotta get him over the top rope and four. But then again, it, it will, that submission there will wear her down. Red Angel. 
to it. The winner of this battle royal, the Red Angel.